join me in experimenting in geometry. You only need three things. Papers, tape, and scissors. Now take a piece of paper and then you cut a ribbon one inch large. Like that. Well, if you bend it and join it that way, you have a portion of a cylinder. But you know that if you make a half turn like that and then you glue it, then you find a well known single sided Mobius ribbon. But now we are going to manipulate space time. This is a two dimensional didactic image that represents a closed space time. The Big Bang is at the North Pole, the Big Crunch is at the South Pole, and the equator represents the maximum extension of space. In 1967, Russian Andrei Sakharov was the first to imagine the existence of a second universe, he called Twin Universe, where the arrow of time was opposite of our own. He suggested that these two twin universes would be connected by the singularity Big Bang, like that. Here the arrows represent the direction of time in each of these two twin universes. In my career, I had the chance to work with three famous mathematicians. The first is Lishnerovich, the second Alexander Grotendieck, and the third the French Zurio. Alexander Grotendieck suggested that these two twin universes could interact and be in two conjunctions. That would mean that associated portions of space-time in each of these two universes would interact with opposite arrows of time. How oh, such a miracle could exist! Let's go back to this closed universe. The equator of the sphere represents maximum extension of the universe, and the vicinity of this equator represents the vicinity of space-time in such conditions. Now we isolate this vicinity of this maximum extension space-time. So we have some sort of belt with the arrows of time. Now we are going to put into conjunctions all couples of antipodal points of that belt. If you really want to understand, you must do the same thing that I do. So you take your piece of paper and you cut three pieces of paper one inch large. Well, my friends, let's go. Two, and three. And then I join all the three with my tape. On this long piece of paper, I indicate a set of arrows of time. And by the way, I put some color on one side and no color on the other one. You see? Now, you see, this is the portion of my space time, the vicinity of the equator with the arrow of time. And if I try to put these points in coincidence, immediately you will say it's impossible. Not exactly, my dear.
first operation, I cut the belt. Then I will manage the self-crossing of the belt. It's not very easy. So this is my belt. Here, I put these two points in, in, in just in front. And then I cut the belt like that way. And I self-cross the belt. I hope it will be visible. And then I glue it. Well, you know, this is how your belt must look like right now. I hope you can see it. Okay, that's right. Now, look carefully. I'm going to make this two portion of paper to rotate that way. You know? Can you see that? Okay. And you know what? I have two half star ribbons, two Mobius strip, and I just have to adapt these two belts one on each other. This is a difficult part of the operation. I have to to distort the paper in such a way. Ah! To make this two piece to be put in coincidence, look, I won. So, like you can see, there is only a red part. The blue, the the white side, I disappeared, and then look at the rows of time. I have put into coincidence opposite. A rows of times, okay. And now you will say, uh, "Where is gone the white side?" I will make another trick. You know, let's make the red side to disappear and the white side to appear. Look, hop, 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 hop. hop. I did it. The red side has disappeared. You will get. You would be become familiar to this string, but you know the main thing is that I have put into coincidence the opposite arrows of time of this universe. And now I will show you that the points into conjunctions are antipodal. Look, they are opposite points. You know. Okay, so we have put into conjunctions antipodal points of the belt. Here on the screen, you have the corresponding drawing. Perhaps this is clear to you looking at the drawing, but because there are certain sorts of things that you can only understand with your hands. If you don't make the trip yourself, you will never really understand what was going on. Look, okay, I will make my wonderful mobile strip. That was possible only if I allowed the self-crossing of the object. Now let's go back to our closed two-dimensional space-time features as a sphere, where the Big Bang is at the North Pole and the Big Crunch at the South Pole. Again, we can start with that belt, which is the vicinity of space-time at its maximum extension. Then I could start again with that belt with after some terrific manipulation and self-crossing, I could transform this closed belt into the twofold cover of a three half turned Mabius band. Again, that put into a coincidence antipodal points of this space time with opposite arrows of time. Is it possible to operate the complete coincidence of antipodal points of such sphere? 
the answer is yes, but this can be done only by mathematicians. The answer is yes, and the result is that strange surface invented by the German mathematician Werner Boy in 1902. Here you have a closer view. What about this strange object? The meridian curves of the boy surface are featured and they join at the single pole of that paradoxical closed surface. Starting from that pole, you have the vicinity of three meridians and you recognize Mebius strip with a single half term. But what about the three half turns Mebius strip? No problem. There it is on the right. The boy surface is a closed surface, but it has a self intersection curve. This curve is shown on the right down and you have a triple point. You will find a full description of this boy surface in my album Top All the World. Then you can free download on my website Savoir Sans Frontières, which means knowledge without border. All these albums can be free downloaded and you will find 25 albums translated into 40 languages. In the home page, you click on the English flag. You will find the link in the text joining this video, including a direct link leading to Top of the World. As a conclusion, if we put into a coincidence Antipodal points of a sphere, we see that it can be shaped as a twofold cover of a Mobius surface. So you take an aspirin tube and start reading, but remember, it is best avoiding reading this album in the evening before going to bed or where you are not certain about nothing because it will only make it frankly worse. But you will argue the universe is not a two-dimensional object. What about a four-dimensional object? No problem, answers the mathematician. You just need a four-dimensional boy surface that is called a projectic space. Then the Big Bang comes into coincidence with the Big Crunch, as suggested by Andrei Sakharov. On the feature below, you see the closed space as a circle and the two timelines with opposite directions. Immediately, we remark that you can replace the Big Bang by a small tube and then to cancel the singularity. As a conclusion, it is suggested that the universe should be um, some sort of hypersurface, closed hypersurface, shaped as a twofold cover of a projected space. And this is nothing but the geometry of the Janus cosmological model. Well, 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 but what about the way the two falls interact? The answer was provided by the French mathematician Jean-Marie Suriau with his famous theorem that shows that the inversion of time is equivalent to the inversion of energy and masses. Here you find the interaction laws that comes from this new geometrical description of the universe. And below the corresponding field equations. But it seems to be a little bit out of the scope of the present video. To know more, please go to another comic book that you can download free at my website Sawa Sans Frontières, Knowledge Without Border.
book entitled Genus Model versus Dark Science. As I said, the origin of the research was the idea of Andrei Sakharov, who thought that the primeval antimatter was located in another universe. In such a model, this antimatter is located in some sort of parallel universe. This work solves the problem. Everybody was satisfied. But then Grotendieck said, what about a new extension of the universe, including physics and metaphysics? Why not? Well, let's go back to this representation of the universe as a twofold cover of a three half turns Mobius strip. Now, for a mathematician geometer, adding a parallel universe is quite easy. Adding now a perpendicular universe, or even two, to this unison structure was not a problem either. The result was a universe with four folds, each with its own arrow of time. Grotendieck liked the idea. Suryu added that this second structure could be the seat of some sort of metaphysics. Well, I remain the only living among this group of four. Vishnerovitz died, then Suryu, then Grotendieck, and I am now 88. It's an interesting idea, and it would explain why it's so difficult to talk with people when they are dead just because their arrow of time is perpendicular to house, which doesn't make things very easy. After their death, I continued to work with my friend, the Belgian mathematician Nathalie de Berg. It's a question of dynamic groups initiated by Suryo in the 70s. Natalie and I, we have published a paper in a journal of mathematical physics. You will find the link in the text joining this video.